Okay, so in this video, guys, we are going to do a retaining income part three. So in this video, guys, the main purpose I want you to understand how to calculate average share because I know that average share is difficult because we have a lot of tricks how to calculate it because when you practice question paper of last year, you will find it different with the one of last of last year, the other year, and so on and so on. So guys, please make sure that you watch until the end so that you will gain the knowledge how are you going to do this okay however we're going to prepare a retaining income through retaining income we're going to calculate what an average okay so the first one of course we are going to have opening balance at the beginning of the year which uh, we are given in this case amount of 237,400 okay then after that we needed to adjust profit after tax which is also given uh, which is amount of 1,526,000 okay so far so good now we are going to repurchase of share where we need to calculate share okay if you check this information they said that uh, under share capital we have at the beginning we have 1,250 share on hand and the share repurchase uh, on 1 May 2022, they do not qualify for dividends. And EFT amount of 1,989,000 was issued for repurchase of share. So they just give us amount. They didn't tell us how much these uh, shares were repurchased. Okay. Now, which means that the first step, we are going to calculate the total of amount per share. Which means that we are going to say they paid a total of 1,989,000 and we need to divide it by 180,000. Okay, this is the total, remember. We have one that we need to record under retained income and we also have the other one which we have to record it under ordinary share capital. Okay, the total, guys, uh let's make calculate and verify one million nine hundred and eighty nine thousand divided by one eighty thousand so the total is eleven rand and five cent okay now let's go back to question paper okay now again if you check, uh, we need to calculate how much was average price. Because this is not average price. This is the price that they used to repurchase share. Okay. Average price, we can get it uh, through calculation of share at the beginning, uh, which is 1,250,000, which we are going to divide it by ordinary capital at the beginning. Okay. In other words, we are going to say it uh one mil twelve million and three one two five hundred and we divide it by one million two hundred and fifty thousand however guys the reason we are using this strategy is because if you check they repurchased this year before they issued another share but if they issued first and after that they repurchase share you have to use the balance at the end of the year because you are not going yeah you're, you're not going to get the right average if you do that so you need to check whether they repurchase before or after okay now let's calculate this is a uh, 12 million 312 500 divided by 1250 million and average price is nine rand eighty five, which means that now we can get what the retain income amount by getting a difference between these two, okay? Minus eleven rand comma zero five is one twenty, okay? Eleven comma zero five minus nine rand eighty five. It is one rand twenty. So 
if you always watch on my YouTube channel, guys, we normally call it a loss because the normal price is average price of nine rand, but because we bought it back by eleven rand, which means that we make a loss of one twenty. This one twenty is the one that you are going to use and multiply by one eight because we repurchase them by one. We repurchase one eighty thousand shares, and the amount now that we are going to take it here. Okay, 120 multiplied by 180,000 shares. We're gonna get uh, an amount, let me calculate, of 216. 216,000, which is going to be bracket, of course. Okay, then we will be done with our average. This one, you multiply it when you go to what? Ordinary share capital. This one, you multiply by when you go to what? To retain income. This one is for cash flow statement. Very simple, guys. Very simple and straightforward. Okay, let's finish up our dividends. Okay, let's start with final dividends because it's already recorded under a balance sheet. Shareholder for dividends is amount of 575,400. Okay, then in term, they said that uh, it was 32 cent. 0, 32 cent. And we need to multiply by let's check at the beginning we have 125,000 shares and during the year 180,000 shares were bought back which means that we have to take 1,250,000 minus 180,000 and remember they said they do not qualify for dividends which means that we need to subtract them this 180 because they don't qualify to get them okay Additional guys, we are not going to include it. The reason is because um, interim dividends were issued on 31 August, and those new ones they come on October, which means that they can't get anything. They were not there when we issued an interim. Okay, then which means that if we subtract those two, we are going to get one million and seventy thousand. Then we will get amount of. 342,400. Okay, we need to add these two guys so that we can get an amount of 917,800. Okay, then after that, you add whatever that needs to be added and you subtract these two and you will get the balance at the end of 629,600. I hope you learned something, by guys. So please. We are working very hard, guys, for you to get a lesson each and every day. Please, make sure that you subscribe and go and watch my other videos. We're going to appreciate that. See you on the next one.